all that overstimulation we saw before and getting everything to funnel into one track of thinking. And it's like meditation for dogs. It's just him thinking about the sit or the let's go command versus the 10, 20 directions his mind is getting taken and that's what gets the barking and then he sees the person who came in as the trigger for that overstimulation and his reaction is like, well, that feeling is created by that so I want it to go and that's what they've learned as a way to handle it. So we're saying, well now, by you focusing on your job, so to speak, it creates that filter and then you can see me without this sensory overload. You're not getting this ripple effect of energy that you're trying to process because everything is so hypersensitive and you're turning off your kind of scanners a little bit and seeing things more in the moment. Good. So the goal is, is to get them into this calm place before all of that starts as best as you can so you start replacing and it's like an old crappy built road. You got to close that one up. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone go down it anymore and start re building little by little. So okay. I'm going to teach you today and that's kind of the theory behind what we're creating and it's just understanding how to use these commands as the right tool and it's like just realizing like well one command doesn't work I've got more up my sleeve to get you to this place. Hi. And I'm not going to you know the as far as being able to just yeah because then you can even like reach down and, and grab them. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Good, it's good. Now it's a better sit without much effort on my part, so I reward them. Yeah. It's like a little happier, but when you do that, they might get so wild, so you might be like, good. Yeah, no, you're Minimize the touch, or if you're praising them, good. That's good if you're praising them. If you're praising them. You know, if let's say he gets up, stop praising them, make them sit, and then praise them again. You just have to have good timing. So he gets up, and then back to praise, just like that. Good. Good. And remember, when I'm doing that, I'm just sending that energy through the air. So he sees, oh, your temptation to get up when I walk away, you still kept the command, and I reward you for your efforts, and then I'll tell them to show them they can actually get up with the release. I'll give them a little break here. Okay, and then they say, oh, okay, is how I get off duty. So they see that release as either another command that moves them or the release, which means they don't have to go into a command, but they can now remove themselves from the job they were doing or the command. Okay, cool. Good job, guys. Doesn't look great or is stressful for the dog. It's the quickest means to their calm and having the rest of their lives without these issues. Okay. It's much better. It's much better. Okay. So even me crouching down, very good. This is much better greeting here. Very good, guys.